Does your Samsung TV click on and off a bunch of times before the picture comes on? The problem is you have a blown capacitor or two on the power supply. This is really easy to fix with a few simple tools and about $6 worth of supplies. You'll need a large Phillips head screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, a soldering iron, and some capacitors that you'll need to order online. Just take your TV and flip it over and you're going to need to unscrew all the screws from the back. Once you have the back of the TV removed, you can start to see the components inside the TV. Over here on the right hand side, you'll see the motherboard and the processor of the TV as well as some of the inputs and outputs. And here in the middle, you'll see the power supply. We need to take the power supply out so we can inspect the damaged parts. You can see here these capacitors. These two have a flat top with a little hash mark on it. This one and this one, the hash mark is busted through. That means that those capacitors uh, overheated or got overcharged and blew up and that's why the TV is having a problem coming on and off. So what we want to do is remove them. If you flip the board over you can see CM853 and CM852. Those are the two capacitors that were blown out on the top. If we just heat these up with a soldering iron they'll just pop out. Once you solder out the old capacitors, you're ready to insert the new ones. And if you notice, the capacitors have a stripe on them. That's the negative, and it's important to line the negative and the positive up properly. This particular one had the negative ones on the bottom and the positive on the top, so I'll slip them, so I'll slip them through the holes. When you have both of the capacitors slip through the holes in the board, you can solder them into place and then flip the wire clean. Once you solder them, just wait for the thread to cool and then you can put them off with a wire clipper. Now when we put the board back over, you can see the two new capacitors are in place and the tops of them are flat and undamaged. So now we have the new capacitors put in and everything put back together. The TV starts right back up.